hey, if you're trying to buy an individual ticket in Richmond or Virginia Beach and you couldn't, you can now. So go to jimmydorkami.com. There's a link for tickets if you're in Virginia Beach or Richmond. Individual tickets now available. You can buy single tickets. Yeah. I just want to let you know that the U.S. military emits more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere than the entire countries, than entire countries, <laughs> countries like Denmark or Portugal. So they're one of the biggest uh, contributors to climate change, global warming, all that stuff. And so this lady works for Raytheon. She's on the board of Raytheon, and she's on. So she's a big warmonger. She's been her whole life a warmonger. She's on other stuff too. I'll, she's a, an advisory member of the British. Well, all kind of Did shit. Oh. So she teaches a class at Harvard on climate change. <laughs> she sounds like an expert. Isn't it? <laughs> she's certainly <laughs> like it, that's 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 not fighting it, changing it yeah, with your wars. It's like. George Bush teaching a master class on leadership, oh, they, which they he do did that. do. They do that. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot he has one. He has a master class on leadership. We that. That'd be like Chris Christie teaching a uh, a weight loss class. How about that? Fair enough. So there you go. So there's so so this there's this group called Ram Inc., which sounds <laughs> yes. Uh, sounds like the name of a bar. Anyway, uh, Ram Inc. They protested because she's a big one. And here we go. Here we go. We can see your war crime. Megan O'Sullivan, you can't hide. We can, we can see, see your war crime. crime. It starts slow, but it picks up. O'Sullivan, you can't hide. We, we can, can see your war crime. When missiles fly. By the way, this is what people spend a hundred grand a year for to go to Harvard so they can get a class about climate change. I, I guess so. I guess that's what from a Raytheon from a from a Raytheon from a lady from Raytheon. She's going to teach the kids at Harvard about climate change. Don't, by the way, the kids at Harvard. Do you not have the internet? I didn't. You know, I realized it was Harvard because I, normally this would be like a lot. This is kind of a smart thing to protest, which I'm unused to seeing. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Usually it's about some drivel, and it's like this is like an actual thing. So, and just remember who she's she's on the board of Raytheon. Wow. About, uh, on the board of directors of the Council on Foreign Relations. Oh. She is also a member of the International Advisory Group for the British law firm, Lint Ladders, a columnist for Bloomberg Opinion, <laughs> and a consultant to companies. Plus, she is also... Uh, so she's basically a walking conflict of interest. I mean, that's the most I've ever seen together in one resume. That was, I think that was her major in college, conflict of interest. <laughs> advanced. <laughs> advanced. Advanced conflict of interest. <laughs> Her her resume couldn't be more unethical if it said gangster, cop, lawyer, judge, <laughs> and consultant to companies. So anyway, so they're gonna go get We her. can see your war crime. Megan O'Sullivan, you can't hide. We, we can, can see, see your war, war crime. crime. Megan O'Sullivan, you can't hide. We, we can, can see your war crime. crime. When missiles fly, people die, and O'Sullivan's profits multiply. When missiles fly, people die, and O'Sullivan's profits multiply. When missiles fly, people die, and O'Sullivan's profits multiply. I would actually be very happy to talk to you. When missiles fly, people die, and O'Sullivan's profits multiply. Nice. Wow. I would be very happy to write in her face. I, I would like to have her, maybe let her uh, let her do her set. Maybe yeah, she's funny. Wanna, it's already pretty funny. She's doing this. <laughs> Here we go. People die. Solomon's profits multiply. When missiles fly. People die. Solomon's profits multiply. When missiles fly. People die. Solomon's profits multiply. In addition to her position as a professor at Harvard Kennedy School, Megan O'Sullivan serves on the board of directors of Raytheon, the world's second largest weapons developer. Moreover, from 2006 to 2007, Megan O'Sullivan served under President George W. Bush as Deputy National Security Advisor for Iraq. Next time, open with that. <laughs> yeah, you should open with that. We got the rhyme part. Did get that part? The meat. War crimes are good Megan to open with, though, too. Was on the ground to oversee the Bush administration's troop surge, in which 20,000 new oh, occupying soldiers came into Iraq. As a board member of Raytheon, and as one of the key architects of the barbaric invasion of Iraq, Megan O'Sullivan has the blood of hundreds of thousands on her hands. 
She directs the weapons company while teaching public policy. She directs the weapons company while teaching public policy. She directs the weapons company while teaching public policy. While teaching public policy. She directs the weapons company while teaching public policy. She two countries. Shame on Harvard Kennedy. I will say, at least they got all her credits right. <laughs> when I play college, they yeah. always screw up my credits. They go, his name's Kurt Metzger, is really good. He was good, did Colby Colleges all over America. You, you want to see? She was also chair of the North American group of the Trilateral Commission, something I thought was just made up. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was a conspiracy that that's a thing. Yes, no, that really is. She's probably the coat check girl at Epstein Island, too. <laughs> you start from the bottom and work your way up. Jesus Christ. It reminds me of how Ghislaine Maxwell, we all laughed when she'd give those TED Talks on ocean pollution. <laughs> and like significantly less crimes than Megan O'Sullivan. She is also a partner at the strategic consulting firm Marco Advisory Partners. I bet they're raping the Amazon. What, uh, whatever they're not doing they're not they're up to no good whatever marco advisory partners no are doing. one has this i don't care how accomplished of a strong redheaded woman you are nobody has the time for this many jobs like this <laughs> half of this is some kind of right title i mean who how would you even have the the time to do all to that? do all that shit and then teach about climate change right and it's, yeah and why would you <laughs> and Unless why it's would you it's because she's she's fighting up against the man she's working too many jobs Ah, that's oh, from the, oh. the cure for burnout. <laughs> the cure for I didn't burnout. even think about it. O'Sullivan is also currently a member of the Secretary of State Anthony Blinken's Anthony Blinken's Foreign Policy Advisory Board. And between 2004 and 2007, she was special assistant to President George W. Bush <laughs> and deputy national security advisor for Iraq and Afghanistan during the last two years of her tenure. And that's where she earned the nickname the Jen Psaki without the clean conscience. <laughs> <laughs> ah. There, she helped run two strategic policy reviews, one on Afghanistan in the summer of 2006 and one on Iraq in late 2006 and early 2007, which led to the surge strategy. So she was one of the architects of the surge. Surge in what? Climate change? But, uh, oh, I should be in that class. <laughs> She also worked in the Office of Policy Planning in the State Department under Secretary Colin Powell. She has been awarded the Defense Department's <laughs> highest honor for wow. civilians. <laughs> The Distinguished Public wow. Service Medal. Oh, and three. So if you're a, if you're a you know mass murderer and killer person, <laughs> uh. <laughs> anyway, so and, and I two, thought it was called the Silver Eichmann. <laughs> oh, that's it. <laughs> that's right. For this, I don't know. I just do my job around here. I don't know what ends up. I care about climate change. In 2008, Esquire magazine named her one of the most influential people of the century. Well, she clearly is. You saw that resume. What she the? really gets a conversation going at the class. How does how does someone like Esquire even know who the fuck she is? Because probably PR. Yeah, of course. A PR, and then she's doing the class, so they gave her a bunch of money to do it and block. Ben Shapiro been there. He'd have destroyed those kids with facts and logic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here's their Twitter handle, Ramick. Those are the people who protested her. More power to those people. Yeah, I would like to them, do man. that. I would like to do join in and do that. I would, I would give them, I would give them some better material too, dude. Because it's a good. I'm glad they did it. Yeah, in 2007, the Washington Post said that O'Sullivan has been at the heart of the most important project of the Bush presidency, the invasion, occupation, and continuing war in Iraq from the beginning. And she's teaching at Harvard. I'm really glad to see some kids talking about a real thing. I really am. Wow. I mean, normally, at least these kids are protesting something real. Yes. Yeah, when it, I say kids, they're not just disrupting a comedy show. They're disrupting a abortion of a climate change. I don't even know why you would take that class. That's a great question. Why would you take that? How funny would it be that she spends her whole day during the day she's bombing, selling bombs and weapons and mass destruction, and uh, but uh, also on the off days, <laughs> on alternating days, she teaches about climate change and she brings her own bag to the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> It's like you have a secret identity, mild mannered war, uh, uh, war monger by day, and then you well, Captain Planet. Did I ever show you the video we have about uh, Raytheon uh, sponsoring the Girl Scouts? Well, now you see what comes of that. A great, yeah, a really accomplished woman. 
So Ram Inc. tweeted out, this semester, O'Sullivan is teaching a class about climate change. Someone that profits from war and climate chaos should not be allowed to teach a class like this. The U.S. military is also one of the largest consumers of fossil fuels, but is exempt from international climate change negotiations. Did you know that? Um, I I assume that. I mean, like, I didn't know it, but I'm not like, oh, what? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Harvard and the Kennedy School have a long history of giving platforms to warmongers, imperialists, and Zionists. The school is also a main recruiting ground for the CIA, NSA, and the FBI. But rarely do they have all of it in one guest. <laughs> <laughs> Here, let's, here's, a, here's a little more video from afterwards. Board of Raytheon, stop profiting off of the death of innocent so people. Where's she going? She just starts walking away. But then she comes back. Watch, she's going to come back. Yeah. At least you're honest about it. At least you're honest about it. He wants to learn from a worker. Good job, good job. We're just asking you to leave the board of Raytheon. She's not leaving. You could just stop. 600,000 dead Rocky. She's a, she's a mass murdering woman. That makes it better. It shows that you're not actually willing to deal with this. Oh, she's trying to find security. That's what she's doing. Nice. Yeah, and look how calm she is yeah. about this whole disruption. Man, you gotta, you gotta. What's more yeah. troubling is seeing the students who are in the classroom that are cool so, with it. Yeah. Well, there were some people that were okay with uh, what these students, these activists, were doing, and they were listening to it. And there, there were other people in the background who were like, "Oh, come on, you should just leave." It's like. It's supposed to be inconvenient. It's supposed to disrupt. Right. It's supposed to agitate. That's what they're doing. They're informing you. And what do you think about what do you think one of her bombs do? What do you think you think that they're polite when they blow up? <laughs> they don't disrupt anybody's class when no, their bombs Jimmy, blow they're up. They're called surgical strikes. Yeah. <laughs> it's like ever if you ever had delicate surgery done, you know how they do it with a series of careful explosions on your body. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You got to see Michael Clayton if you haven't seen it because the one that Tilda Swinton plays. The I corporate, did see that. I did see that, but I don't that remember. That was a, such a great character. I mean, she was such a great character. She's that character. I see every one of them are that despicable character. Like they're, some. They're, that's the banality of murder. evil. Yes. This is called the banality of evil. Yeah. Look, she's she leaning looks, in. She looks like a nice lady. Yeah. She's not a mass bloodthirsty she's mass about murderer. Change. She's worried about you climate change. You're going to interrupt change. her? She took time from her busy day causing yeah. all the climate change. We're doing stand-up comedy in Virginia Beach, Richmond, Virginia, Arlington, Virginia, San Jose, California, Miami, Florida, West Palm Beach, Denver, Palm Springs, Austin, Texas. Go to jimmydorecomedy.com for a link for all the tickets. And while you're there, join our premium program. You get to see my new stand-up special coming out.